We are on the National Geographic Endeavor 2, and I am going to give you a ship tour right now. So let's go. This is the bridge where the captain hangs out, the captain and his crew. This is where all the magic happens. <laughs> so obviously I'm the captain of this ship right now. Let's see, right here is the lounge area where we will be starting cocktail hour soon. So they're setting up little snacks. It's usually where they do updates, show movies, do little breakout sessions here. Here's our coffee and tea section. And then here's our bar. One of our wonderful barmen. <laughs> this is the reception area. If you have any issues or you need to sign up for something, this is where you come. This is the dining room. This is where we eat our breakfast, our lunch, our dinner. And it's open seating, so you can sit with whoever you want. All right, I'm gonna take you guys outside now. This is where all of our wetsuits are, all of our wet everything. Everyone's room number is on each hanger, so our room is 416. And now we're entering the library. They've provided computers for everybody if they need to download their photos. A little hangout spot, and they've got books. Books galore everywhere. This is where you buy your souvenirs and if you need like toothpaste or anything like that, you can buy it there. This is our little gym. If you want to wake up early, you can work out right in there. It's open all the time. They've got weights, they have treadmills, they have a bicycle. It's kind of cool. This is the spa. Someone is currently being treated, so unfortunately can't look inside, but they're probably getting a massage. Oh, it's also really nice because they have given us a nice little water station on each floor. So if you, they provide you with a water bottle and you can just fill your water bottle right there. Ooh, people are out here right now. Ooh, the sun's looking nice right now too. So you can look out over at the islands. There's a little bar where they set up sometimes to serve wine. Or you can come up here and watch the stars. It's a really nice relaxing place to really experience this cruise. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the National Geographic Endeavor 2. So now we're gonna head out to Santa Cruz Island again. We're just on a different side of the island. We're gonna go see the land iguanas and hike through some rocks. So hopefully we don't fall when we get off the zodiac. All right, let's go. We've got another marine iguana. And he's looking right at me for the land iguanas right now and they could be anywhere so we're just like keeping an eye out i see yellow in the distance but i don't know if that would be an iguana i'm also very blind i need glasses to see far scat in the trail uh that's small but uh there's some donkey scat usually in the trail be careful uh sir pay attention to that because that shows that there we still have some introduced donkeys here okay. keep your eyes open for those iguanas Use your binoculars and telephotos. Much more fun than seeing a bunch of sea lions. I hope we get to see an iguana, because that'd be really cool. But I don't understand why we can't see them, because they're bright yellow, and this is like desolate. It's brown everywhere. We saw quite a few land iguanas. The last one was the best one, because it was right there, and it was moving, and it was eating. So that was pretty cool to get in there, but it was a little crowded to see it, but. At least we saw one that was active. But yeah, let's get back on the ship. We're gonna go deep water snorkeling. It's gonna be adventure snorkeling. Make sure you got all our gear, fins, goggles, camera. Check, got it, let's go. Manabito, we've got some sugar cane juice, and then they poured a little bit of alcohol in here. And it's quite, whew, got a little kick to it. It's sweet, it's good. So today we're eating a special Ecuadorian lunch buffet. 
We've got seafood ceviche, with calamar, we've got the vegetarian ceviche. So, so we've got the ceviche here. Uh, let's see. Ooh, it looks really good. I'm not sure which kind it is yet. They're gonna tell us, but. Ooh, it's got octopus, and it's got fish. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Ooh, it's got squid as well. Hi, how are you? You and my best friend today. Am I? Nice. Oh, how mm. Let's see what's over here. Avocado salad, ensalada criolla, beet carrot pizza salad. Nice. Ooh, so this is Bornado, a suckling pig, Ecuadorian style. Look at that head. Wow. We got fish cooked in coconut milk, potato cake with cheese. Hominy. So I got some hominy right here with cheese, which I've never had before, so this is interesting. That's really good. It's like a it's like a casserole almost. Wow, that's super good. Which would explain why we had the Ecuadorian today. Oh I really like that. Yeah, not on the last day, okay. not on the first day. Um then we got some more fish. Not ceviche, but fish. Mm. I put it on top of my rice. So hot. It's so hot. Didn't expect it to be hot. It's hot in the middle. But that is really good. It's got a nice um, flavoring to it. And the fish just kind of falls apart. It's not too dry. This is good. I like this one. Yep, it's still hot. <laughs> So now we are, I'm eating dessert. I don't usually get the desserts because I'm not really a big dessert person, but I do like tres leches or three milks cake, which is right here. Look how like moist that is. It looks really good, but it's a Latin dessert. A lot of Latin um, cultures have it. So I've had it before, but it's super good. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. <laughs> it just melts in your mouth. It's like, it's not even cake. It's so good. Oh my God. We're doing a wine tasting up in the lounge right now. Let's go see what kind of wine they got. Water. Next, we are going to Isla Santiago and prepare for an early morning climb on Bartolome Islet to see the most iconic view of the Galapagos. It is 5.45 almost in the morning and we are going to go for a hike up 372 or 27, 300 something steps to see a view here in the Galapagos, which apparently is the most iconic view here in the Galapagos that everyone knows, but it's early. We're gonna begin our climb, 300 something steps up that mountain. We're almost there. This is amazing. Oh, look at that. That is incredible. That's amazing. I have nothing else to say. go down there where we're gonna go to the beach and then we're gonna go snorkeling just somewhere over there uh, next to that really tall pointy rock 
and then hopefully we'll see some penguins. They said probably one or two, but hopefully we're lucky. This is what we call volcanic scoria, and that's got some interesting colors, some orange, some red, some green potassium, magnesium, iron, manganese, even calcium in here. And uh, this is blown with a, a lot of pressure and high speed. The reason why these cones are so vertical here, because this material was ejected in a molten, molten state, and then it cooled in the air, and then by the time it reached the ground, it was probably almost solid. Enough for the gas, never had a chance to escape. We have some tortilla soup here, and this is a Mexican-themed lunch. Let's try this. No, it's good. Not a little spice, not too much. Pretty good. And we got some chips and queso here. Mm. We got some chicken and spinach enchiladas here with pica de gallo, some sour cream, and some beans. So let's check this out. Hola. Ah, there's the chicken. Okay, we'll try this first with some pica de gallo. Mm. That's good. Not spicy at all, so I'm gonna need a bunch of pico de gallo. So we have white chocolate spoons, I think a chocolate mousse, and assorted ice creams. So I'll see, I'll probably get a chocolate spoon and a scoop of ice cream. We'll see what kind of flavors they have. Tres leches helado. <laughs> Con chocolate, si, sí, poquito. Gracias. Good go. Look at that. Okay, let's try with the chocolate. Oh, that's good. We're gonna go to the beach now in the zodiacs. Hopefully, we see some penguins, but I only wore my pants, my clothes, so hopefully, they're like not in the water where I can't see them. <laughs> This is Bartolome Island. We're gonna go look at this heron. I just wanna be up close to it because I've never seen how tall they are. We're not going snorkeling. Some people are. So hopefully they see something cool. All right, so we're headed back to the boat right now. And uh, we saw a couple of penguins, but they were they stayed in the water, so we didn't really get to see them too much, just kind of like when they pop their head up once in a while. But we're gonna go back and get some snorkeling here, so hopefully we'll see some then. While we sleep, we head to Isla Genovesa to see a massive amount of fearless birds in one place. So last night we crossed the equator, which is pretty cool, but I think we crossed it around 2, 2.30 in the morning, which I wasn't waking up for, but you could tell we did because we started rocking really bad and some of our stuff knocked over. And when it knocked over, I just went and moved it all, not even thinking about crossing the equator, but apparently, if you haven't crossed the equator, you're called a polywog. And now that we've crossed the equator, we're called shellbacks. So I guess we're shellbacks now. So we just landed on Hinevesa Island, which is also known as Tower Island. We are on Darwin Beach, where there's just thousands of birds right now. We've got red-footed boobies, frigate birds, swallowtail, gulls. Earlier we had a 
some of the juvenile uh, red-footed boobies flying right above our heads, just looking at us curiously. The geology right here is really interesting because check the cliffs around us. This is a, a collapsed caldera. It's like a huge sinkhole, right? Right underneath this area, when this island was much younger, I mean, after eruptions, this, the, the, the magma chamber underneath the island emptied after time, with time, right? And then the roof of the chamber collapses down and you end up having these huge sinkholes, which are called calderas. Tower Island holds a really interesting ecology. In the first place, this is a, the whole island is a seabird colony, okay? And there are, only talking about the red-footed boobies, there's something like a quarter million birds here, right? So, truly speaking, this is a bird sanctuary, seabird sanctuary, right? This is a, an island that's 100% a national park, right? And there's no invasive species on the island, so these birds are doing real nice, right? On the other hand, Genovesa holds a really interesting ecology. Remember yesterday, uh, Cindy was mentioning that none of the land reptiles have arrived here. So you're not gonna find lava lizards, you're not gonna find snakes in this island, there's no giant tortoises, there's no land iguanas, and they've never been. Apparently I just got blessed. Can you see? Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it's in my hair still at all, but it felt like it went in my hair. Do you see anything? What? Bird. You got, you got hit? I got hit. No. no, no well, I got a little, little bit, bit here. Yeah. Nothing You've on my head? Blessed. No, no, no not on the hair. Fine. Okay. You've been blessed. I felt it. You'll come back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go to the boat, back to the ship. And from the ship, we're going to go on to our next adventure of kayaking in the bay. So, yeah, let's go. All right, we're going kayaking now. It's our last kayaking trip here in the Galapagos. So right now we're going to go back to Genovesa Island, but this time we're going to go on the other side where Prince Philip steps are. It's a little rocky uh, landing, so hopefully we can get on safely without dropping our cameras. All right, climbing up the Prince Philip steps. We are done with Prince Philip's stairway trail. We saw lots of Nazca boobies, lots of males trying to court the females, and lots of eggs. We also saw one owl in a really far distance, but now it's time to go back, and then we're done. We go to sleep, and we head back home. So this is our final meal, the last supper. Um, we're going to be eating steak and lobster. With a little bit of, so uh, we'll do it without butter. Like, it's, it's, I think the free version is kind of one. Mm. But the, um, I use a free version like a I love lobster. I love seafood. I don't usually eat yogurt, but this is really good. It's the end of our trip. So now we're headed to Baltra, where we will catch our flight back to mainland Ecuador in Guayaquil. Thanks to everybody, from the captain right down to the, the people that got me safely in and out of that Zodiac into that <laughs> kayak <laughs> and helped me up out of the sand because shaky old knees won't work and, and I was able to do a lot of things that I never thought I'd be able to do.
I would like to thank all of the staff and all of the naturalists and all the photographers for everything you guys have taught us and helping us and always remembering that I like green tea in the morning so that was really nice but most of all I would like to thank all of you not only for letting Todd and I put our camera in your guys' faces while we make our video, but also the world that Todd and I live in is very digital and we all take pictures for Instagram, we do it for Facebook, and we do it just to show people that we were there. And being surrounded by all of you, you all are adventurers and you all live in the moment and you love experiencing this and it just, I love to see it. I love that you guys love to learn about the Galapagos, about all the nature, about all the animals that are here and we, uh, in the world that we live in, we don't meet a lot of people who are like that. And being surrounded by you guys, I, I hear all your stories and it's inspirational and so I wanted to thank you guys so much for, you know, talking to all of us about your stories and and all of your moments in your lives, not just in the Galapagos, but in your lives. And so that would be my moment, just listening to your guys' stories. Not about whether you got like amazing picture or whatever, or about the video that you're gonna post on YouTube, or the Instagram post that you're gonna put, but the fact that you saw it and it was right there and next to you, in your face. And I think you guys taught me that, and that's why I travel, is to meet people like you guys who love learning and who love adventure. Some of you have never paddleboarded, but you paddleboarded for the first time. <laughs> Some of you never kayaked, you, you kayaked for the first time and you experienced these things. And that's what life is all about. And that's why I travel, is to experience these things and here you guys are as well, you're doing it. You're out there and thank you guys all so much for that. <laughs> awesome!